The original discovery happened in 1988, so this is almost 37 years later it's being named. And just an ordinary dad and his daughter out looking for fossils one day. From that, it turned out it was like new to science, never been seen before. So it's going to be called Traskosaura sandre. Now the Trask being the family name, the Sora meaning lizard. We knew this paper was coming, but it takes years to make the paper. So there was a mock-up of the press release, and I had it and showed it to him. He had some issues with his brain function at the end of his life from lack of oxygen, but he understood that it was happening, and he was very grateful for that. That's the legacy. That's he and his daughter's legacy. Is That's a, a big legacy. It's not his only attribute, but it was a good one. The citizen scientists, they're the ones that have time to go look for fossils. And they're the ones that are bringing them forward to the scientists. Mike did the right thing. He was one of the first ones to do that, brought it to science. And now there's been, I don't know, probably at least 20 or 30 new animals found here. Lots of new species named after a lot of the local fossil collectors. And he's predeceased by his daughter, Heather, too. She passed away a couple of years ago in 2023. But his spirit's going to live on because there's an army of paleontologists out there in the province of BC living by his rules because he wrote the first list of ethics for fossil collection in the province here. And it started with our fossil group, the Vancouver Island Paleontological Society. And that was adopted by the rest of the paleo groups and then by the British Columbia Paleontological Alliance and then on to the provincial government. They have rules and regulations regarding fossils. Now there's a fossil framework, heritage branch, there's rules where there weren't any before. And it's because of him 